Hey guys, in this video this is my review on the Young Nuo wireless trigger receivers RF603C which is these here. As you have bought the pack of three. Uh, previously before I had the PTO4N receiver, uh, just one off, but now I've got a couple of uh, speed lights. So this is them here. Uh, and three uh, metal hot shoe plate. The good thing about these compared to the old PTO4Ms is that one, the battery compartment is easy to get hold of and two, <coughs> pardon me, it takes normal, was it AAA? AAA batteries, whereas in the old one it was acting of a watch battery and it was quite hard to get hold of. So these are my new triggers. Uh, compared, there are RF602s out but these are updated uh, model, better wireless and longer transmitting range. Uh, these are 16 channel uh, and I think they said the range was about 100 metres. So far I've tried about maybe about 20 metres and they work fine. Uh, really pleased with them. Uh, so they've got a, as you can see here, uh, we are, uh, so you can fit uh, that side on the camera, what's shown to the camera, and your flash will go in there. You have a test button and also a trigger button. You can use this as a wireless trigger. And you've got the, the on off switch, which you'll get green. Press it down, it'll go red. So I'll show you these in action. So what we'll do is we'll, I'll, I'll just give you a test and show you how it works. So I'll try it on my YN. Speedlight 560 from Young Nuo and my uh, 465. Uh, if you want to see the kind of review videos for them, then they will be up here. If you want to see the review video on my PTO4M, then if you have a look here, <laughs> it should pop up here somewhere. Uh, okay, so we'll just uh, the one thing I've got to note is that many people have said is when you place this on to the hot shoe of the receiver you can't get into switch the on off button on so you have to switch it on first so that's it on slide it on and that's that ready to go and then we'll switch it on to the camera One. So that's the two of them going. And I'll show you with it set up for two flashes. Switch that on as well. So that's me got the two flashes set up. really 
handy. What you can do as well is you can also set it up half press and it'll auto focus. Keep a half press if you're doing say a photograph of a self portrait. Put your lens on the Mac uh, manual, stand back in place and fire away. Uh, I've tried this up to about maybe about 20 metres and it works fine. Uh, it's really good. Uh, also, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, somebody's on my phone there. Uh, I have the Samyang 85mm 1.4 and I'll be doing a review on that so I'll be looking out for that in the next week and uh, yeah thanks very much for watching, cheers